Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another term on Tuesday. My name is Vanessa and if you guys are liking these term videos, then make sure you guys are liking and subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't watched my other videos, make sure you guys go and watch them. I am studying to take my real estate exam and I thought making these videos would help other people out there because for me, learning... Um, talking to people, teaching them, and reiterating what I'm learning helps me retain that information. So that's why I'm here making these videos. I'm in Washington trying to get my real estate license. So if you are also trying to get your license, comment down below where you're from. So today we are going to be talking about fixtures and trade fixtures and the difference between the two. So what is a fixture? A fixture is when personal property is permanently attached to real property. So some examples of a fixture could be cabinets that you bought when you bought your house and you installed them permanently to the walls. It could be like a microwave that's above a stove that was permanently attached to the property. It could be like a chandelier of those sorts. So if somebody did want to take their chandelier and those type of things, they would have to specifically put that in the listing agreements that they were going to take that down and take it with them. But most of the time when personal property is permanently attached to real property, it becomes a fixture. So some examples of per of personal property could be like your car. It could be like, you know, a tractor on your land. So these things are personal property. You can take them with you. So things like an installed cabinets, I guess you can take it with you, but most likely you won't. So that's the same. That's the difference between a fixture and then a personal property. A trade fixture is used in commercial properties. So for example, if you have a salon and you put a salon chair and a salon mirror, or you have, you're renting a space and you have your dentist or a massage therapist and you have your chair in there and it's bolted to the ground, those things, when you leave the business, it's a trade fixture. So you have to install that and take that with you. So the difference between a fixture and a trade fixture is one, a fixture is usually used on personal property um, when personal property is installed to the property permanently and a trade fixture is in commercial property when you have you know tools and equipment that is installed into the business but because it is a business and you're leaving that business once the lease is up you will need to uninstall that and take that with you when you leave so that this is a quick video explaining the difference between a fixture and a trade fixture as well as per personal property um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoy videos like this quick and easy to the point make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel check out my other term on tuesday videos like i told you i was studying to get my real estate exam and i'm making important topics and concepts made easy so that you can pass your real estate exam as well i love teaching and helping people so this is only the next step so then you know i can help other people out there we're all study buddies trying to get our real estate licensing so if you guys have any other terms or concepts you guys want me to go over make easy put them down below in the description box as i'm studying and trying to learn the most information doing this is helping me understand and learn the terms and re you know retain that information because i'm telling you guys and i'm learning as i'm going so i'm here to help you guys as well so make sure to follow me over on instagram like this video check out my other videos and follow along for the journey thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys in the next one